Here I have another hydrogen fuel cell and this fuel cell I will convert into some hydrogen metal battery. The hydrogen metal battery is some sort of hybrid device between the battery and the fuel cell, which means that the negative side of the device is made from fuel cell and the positive side is made from battery, which means that the negative active material is the hydrogen and the positive active material is in most cases some metal oxide material. And the hydrogen metal batteries come in, in many different chemistries, from nickel hydrogen to manganese hydrogen, iodine hydrogen battery and so on. And the most common and really good known chemistry is of course the nickel hydrogen battery, because they already have some use in some space applications. And here is not a big surprise because the nickel hydrogen battery have the cycle life over 20,000 cycles, with no problem at all. And to the next chemistry, which is also really interesting, is some manganese hydrogen battery. The manganese hydrogen battery was developed by Stanford University. And this is the chemistry which I will use in this project. And now I will put apart this cell. Now let's open the cell. Here I have two end plates and here I have this actually cell. So this is the current collector for the hydrogen side. Here I have this carbon paper. This is the current collector for the oxygen side and here I have this metal piece. And here I have this proton exchange membrane. So this membrane have some coating of the catalyst on the surface of this membrane. So the catalyst coating is some platinum uh, mixed with some carbon. Really nice. And I also have some gasket. So to make this hydrogen metal battery, in my case manganese hydrogen battery, I will use almost all the parts which I get out from this fuel cell. And if I start to assemble this cell, then I will do in my old fashioned way, which is I will start with the positive side of the cell. So into this end plate I will put these four sprues. And then first I will add this current collector, which will be for the positive side of the cell. And now, instead of using this metal piece, I will use this graphitic carbon felt. This graphitic carbon felt will go on the positive side of the cell, because this graphitic carbon felt will capture all the formant manganese dioxide. So when the battery will be uh, charged, then on the positive side will start to form some manganese dioxide and this manganese dioxide will impregnate into this graphitic carbon felt. So this graphitic carbon felt will hold this manganese dioxide. Uh, then I will add uh, some another gasket like so and then I will use this membrane. So here I use this proton exchange membrane only because uh, because of this catalyst coating which is on the surface of this proton exchange membrane. Because this kind of battery don't need 
this expensive membrane because in this kind of battery you can use every type of separator but because i need this catalyst layer and this catalyst layer is on this membrane that's why i need to use this proton exchange membrane uh, so now i will put this membrane like so then i will put this gasket here on this hydrogen side or the negative side of the cell uh, i will also put this carbon paper and on the top of this carbon paper i will also try to use this activated carbon felt so on the positive side i use graphitic carbon felt and on the negative side i will try with this activated carbon felt so this activated carbon felt i will put on the top of this carbon paper and that's it And now I will fill this cell with this electrolyte. Here I have 4 mol of manganese sulfate, which means that I add 33.8 grams of manganese sulfate into 50 milliliters of water. And on the top I also add 4 to 5 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. And because I use this proton exchange membrane in this cell, for this reason I need to fill uh, the cell with the electrolyte on each side, on the positive and also on the negative side of this cell. So I also need to be sure that the, the carbon fat will be vetted with the electrolyte. Okay, this will be fine. Okay. So this battery, when it's charging, on the positive side will start to form some manganese dioxide and on the negative side will start to form some hydrogen. And this hydrogen I also need to store in some way. And here I will store the hydrogen.
Cool. Now I will connect my power supply. Positive on positive and the negative on negative. Like so. And now I will charge this cell with around 1.6 volts. After 5 minutes of charging, I will stop with the charging because I want to show you the consumption of the hydrogen when the cell is on the load. Uh, so to this cell I connect this motor for the load and here I already store some hydrogen. And now you will see uh, the consumption of this hydrogen when the battery is on the load. And for the end, I also discharge this cell uh, with my electronic load. For the first test, I get 30 milliwatt hours. So this is the discharge curve, which is like some typical battery curve. It's really flat, which is really good. Um, I charge uh, that cell with 1.65 volts and I discharge the cell with 60 milliamps. And I get the runtime of 22 minutes and the energy is 30 milliwatt hours. So for the first test, is this okay? So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.